Hey beautiful, thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video this wig is brought to you by Neat and Sleek. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. If they have any social media links, I'll be sure to link it below as well. Neat and Sleek wanted me to let you know their braided wigs come as a two-in-one, meaning if you ever feel the need to take the braided synthetic hair off the wig, the hair underneath is about 14 to 16 inches long. They really wanted you to get a good cost value of their $250 to $300 wigs. If you get a long length wig, you cut one braid to a medium length, remove the synthetic hair, wash the wig so it can have more life to it let the wig air dry style it to your preference this is just recommended for if you get tired of the braids and you just want to do more with the unit and their wigs is usually a full lace wig the wig came in that long clear plastic baggie they also inserted a paper with your order information on it so it's the name of the wig this is a full lace wig length waist length which is 24 to 26 inches. The hair color is the same color as the picture. The size that I have is medium. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get two combs on the top by the crown area, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a elastic band so you could get an extra secure fit. You can also change the settings on the elastic band so it's not too tight on your head. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Braids come as a nice ombre. It's really neatly constructed. The ends is a little wiggly, but it is fixable. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. The knots on the wig come bleached. The hairline is pre-plucked. They also give you this braided piece around the hairline so you can add baby hairs. Now I'm gonna take about two to three sections and take the ends of the hair and dip it in some hot water. This just helps straighten the braids. I wish I had something bigger to put it in so I could really go up to the roots of the hair, but this was all I had, so I'm just gonna try to make it work. Take your time doing this, be careful, try not to burn yourself, and make sure you have a towel near you because you're gonna need that to wring out some of the water. This next part is optional. I just like to go in with my hot comb and straighten the baby hairs. I feel like it's more easier for me to style it that way, so that's why I do it. Now I'm going to take the Wigguru's Lace Tint in the shade Caramel Frappe. This just helps tint the lace to blend in with my skin more. So first I just go in and spray one layer of the spray. Then I go in with the blow dryer on hot. Blow dry until it's completely dry. Then I go in and spray one more time. Then blow dry again. You can use as much layers as you would like. And now it's time for the install. Sorry about that Her Given Hair box in the back. I just did a Her Given Hair review, so I forgot to take up the box, so just ignore that. But anyway, this is looking like scalp at the top. In the crown area of the wig, it's made with a different material. Full lace wigs usually come like that. If you want to like change the color of that, I recommend going in with some powder. That's your skin tone, and that usually helps. I forgot to do that. It was too late, I already started an install and I couldn't see. So I recommend doing it on your mannequin head or even asking somebody maybe do it for you. 
But now I'm just going in with the olive oil super hard hose spray and I just spray down the hairline and blow dry until it's completely dry. This is what it's looking like in the end. If you want a better, nice scalp result, I recommend doing the ball cap method so nobody can see your stocking cap underneath. But I'm going to take this wig off right after this review. So I was just like, eh, this just helps give them the hint of what the install will look like. So now I'm going in and I'm styling the baby hairs. I'm just using foaming wrap lotion. And the baby hairs was a little tricky for me because I did not know what I wanted to do. So I just kept playing around with it until I got something in the end. And it came out pretty okay. Could have been better. It's not bad though. I think I did pretty okay. After I was done styling my baby hairs, I wanted the baby hairs to have a softer look. So I went in with the comb part of that edge brush styling tool and I just softly combed out the baby hairs. I'm all done and again this wig is waist length so I would say it's about 26 inches on me. My height is 5'5". I think they did a really nice job with the ombre color. I like how the ombre is nice and faded. There's no harsh line of demarcation with the ombre. I feel like they did a nice job on that. As for the lace, I feel like the lace is very blendable once you get it to match your skin. And the density of the wig is just right. I feel like it's on the thick side, but not too thick where it makes your head come off bulky. The lace on this wig is really giving scalp vibes. I really like it. I like how the parting space looks too. It's not too wide, not too little. Like it actually look like some scalp. I feel like the Africans did my hair. I totally recommend this wig if you're like into braids or you just want braids, but you don't feel like sitting in that chair for such a long time. This you could just pop on and when you're ready to take it off, you just take it off. You don't have to pull out the braids one by one unless you feel like taking it out to wear the hair on the wig really nice great job neat and sleek i have worked with neat and sleek in the past and they have some really good quality wigs definitely type in their name on youtube and check out other reviews to get others opinion i have not seen one bad review on them another good thing about the braid pattern on their wig is I feel like there's no flyaways or frizzes with the braids, so I'm really hype about that. And I feel like you cannot rock this glueless. You would definitely have to go in and add some glue or hard hold spray to the hairline to get the lace to lay down and look really natural. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. I really don't have any cons, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.